Good morning. Thank you all for tuning in to Ohio Hilltops. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I thank you all for tuning in. And uh, today, don't have uh, too much planned. We're going to do some odds and ends. We got quite a few chores to get done. We're going to clean out the chicken coop, the hog house, and uh, I'd like to get around to getting the pallet forks on the tractor and go move some logs and cut some firewood. So uh, if any of those sound good to you, please stick around. Love to have you all join in and uh, leave some comments below as we go. And uh, hope you all enjoy. All right, so we're gonna go out here and uh, got some uh, laying pellets for the hens. And I like to feed them these pellets. Actually, we've been mostly using crumbles. And uh, I have some unrolled oats I feed them. I also have black oil sunflower seeds giving them to the goats and the chickens. Just try to give them just a good variety there. So let's go and uh, we'll get them fed. Probably clean out the coop here. Good morning. Then we'll go out here and uh, feed Jasper. Sweetie Pie doesn't let him in the barn when uh, they're eating. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start cleaning out the coop there. Normally, I'll take you on the bottom end there and I'll put a wheelbarrow under there to catch it. However, the tire, the, the tube on the wheelbarrow um, started to leak, so we got a flat tire picking up a new one. But for now, I'm just going to scoop it out of the, the back end of the coop and then afterwards, I'll take it and I'll throw it on our compost pile. So uh, here we go. All right, well, there's the uh, pile of manure, and somehow these girls, they must just be jumping out of the hole, because I just took a quick uh, phone call there and came back, and I got chickens out. But anyways, the bedding was fairly dry, except for underneath where the watering is, and uh, that's because of these, these fine ducks here. Oh, boy, are they messy. So otherwise, I usually try to keep it pretty deep and I'll go in there and turn it. And uh, they help keep it turned over as long as it's dry too with feed and such in there. So works out pretty good, but it's a lot harder with the ducks because they just get everything so wet. Hey, 
rooster's getting pretty big. Much bigger than the rest of them, though. Still young. So, this barrel here, it'll hold about two bags of uh, bedding. And I just used one of these old water containers, and it makes a really nice bedding scoop. Normally, I'll just go in there and add a whole bag at a time, but these are this is the last of the bedding that I have, so I'll use it up. Alright, so there we have it. Um, normally I like to use straw on top, but I'm out of straw, so I'll just use a flake of hay. It works pretty good, but as long as I can keep it dry in here, um, I'm going to start actually watering them right outside. And uh, that way hopefully they'll keep the mess out there instead of in here. Alright, in the meantime, everybody's uh, enjoying some dry dirt underneath the coop, getting some dirt baths in. tarp this compost pile and uh, I guess I'll just take that over from over there put it on the pile and try to mix it in some. there's still some heat in there the one thing that I did mess up on was I waited too long to tarp it and uh, it just got too saturated and I'm trying to get it worked back up now so hopefully this raw chicken manure in there will help heat it back up and get the process going a little better I'll stick you on time-lapse here and uh, we'll get this switched around All right, so that was a good bit of work there. <laughs> we got a big pile of compost, and uh, I'm gonna now try to take some from the far side, put it on top of this fresh side. Like I said, I'm looking to try to get it jump started again. I want to show you uh, some of the progress that compost has made. And uh, as we look towards the center of the pile, this stuff here, this is older compost, but that is pretty much um, ready to go. If I could get it out of there, break it up, and that would be perfect. The outer shell here, the newer stuff, since it was so wet, hasn't quite done much. You can kind of see the different layers now there's a fair amount of heat coming out of here so it is working and i can see some of the ashy spots where it's been hot and you know started burning up some of the hay so it is working you can see the base there that whole section there that's all really good stuff the rest of it's getting there so ideally i'd want to get my tractor out here and use the backhoe and just turn this over a couple times every couple weeks um but being that it's winter time and everything's a muddy mess, uh, this is going to have to work for us. So it's not bad. It's it's tough work with a pitchfork, but pretty fun to know that you're making really good um, compost mix. So.
dug down in towards the center of the uh, hole there. That's all perfect compost. Look what I found. That's a good sign. We got grubs down in there. I'm sure there's worms. Chickens will probably be over here in a little bit, sorting through this, I'm sure. All right, they're starting to take interest in it. I'm sure they'll all be over here in just a bit. So we got the chicken coop all cleaned out. Just came out and woke these lazy girls up. They didn't even eat breakfast yet. We're gonna go ahead and uh, fold the roof back and get in there and clean out the hog house. Pigs for bedding. We got uh, some loose straw and some hay shaft on the top of the barn. Gives them All right, so now that we got the chicken coop cleaned and then the hog pen cleaned, enough with the hard stuff. Now I'm gonna get around to having a little fun, hopefully get the chainsaw out and uh, take you all along. I came up here, checked the fence, and had this um, top and broken out of that ash. It was across up in there, so I got it pulled down across. That'll make good firewood. There's where it came from. Atlas, you being a good Overwatch dog. Hmm. Kind of stunting the sheep hole in there. Look at that belly. All right, well, I decided I don't want to keep this video going too long. So uh, I thank you all for coming along. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll get some chainsaw action here in the near future. And, uh, in the meantime, keep the comments coming. I really appreciate all the support, and uh, I'm glad you all come along for the videos. So until next time, y'all take care.